everybody, we're live. I gotta send out some links, get everything going. Um, the stream captioner should be going, doing its thing. So I'm gonna send out some links to, I guess do some little self promo. Now, I meant to stream a little earlier, but I fell asleep, so this is when we're streaming today. All right. I'm checking my creative dashboard. Okay, I think everything is ready. So let me get my controller set up. And then we'll hop into the game. Okay. Pierce and Rex are making friends. This is so sweet. Hello everyone. This is Don Buck. It's 11.33 a.m. this happy Wednesday, February 28th, 2024. Now for today's news. Lemon Star gained a new neighbor today. I own. Okay, this is super delayed. Hang on. Huh. I'm sure she will be very busy unpacking today, so consider checking in on her. Okay, why is my audio so delayed? This is so weird. Now then, I have one more bit of important news to wrap things up. It's so wonderful to see all the enthusiasm for Island Life. Our population is certainly growing here. When the star is becoming a rather bustling place. Yes, yes. Our goal, as always, is to provide you all with the top quality support you deserve. And so, please note, Resident Services will soon relocate from its current tent into a new, more permanent building. It's a big move, and construction will take some time, so we will be closed tomorrow. Please check on Moth's items at the recycle box or use the Nook Stop today while it's available. Yes, yes. That's all for me. Time for you all to get out and enjoy your day. Yes, yes. Alright. So... Hi everybody, welcome in. This is Animal Crossing. I am currently struggling with a really weird delay on my audio capture for my Switch. And I don't know why, because I've never experienced this before. Um, I imagine it's probably showing up through my stream for people who are actually watching it. So, you know, if y'all are bothered by it, please let me know if you can actually see it, hear it. Dear Dreamer, I am certain many memories of your island are dear to you. What if you could share those memories in the form of a pleasant dream? You can, and it is as easy as falling asleep in your bed. Sleep well, Luna. Jolly Red, congratulations, Lemonade. On behalf of all of us here at Jolly Red's Treasure Trawler, I'd like to thank you for your wise and, if I may add, final purchase of a moving painting. No refunds. Red, owner and president. That is not reassuring. If anyone's here today that was here yesterday, I did end up making some extra custom designs and I got a little carried away. So now we have 
seven different custom designs um, instead of just the um, the four that we had before. So, oops, I guess. And I did, I knocked down some presents yesterday from balloons while I was making them. So here's what I got. A Mrs. Flamingo. Because I thought it would be nice to open them. Open. So here's the Luna bed. Alright, and then here's the moving painting. So let's go and see if it's legit. I really hope it is. I spent a long time looking at it and painfully agonizing over whether or not it was the real one. Who? Oh dear, pardon me. Good morning, Lemonade. Welcome to the Lemon Star Museum. How may I be of service? Make a donation. Marvelous. What would you like to donate? Moving painting. What? Is that a moving painting and the genuine article, no less? Yes, it is, indubitably. It is even more magnificent than I imagined. I shall treat this donation with the utmost care. Owl's honor. I shall also leave details about your donation to, for all to read once it is on display. Ooh, do check, please do check back later. Do I have any fossils to accept? Yo, okay. <laughs> any old time. I'm fine. Wow, the audio is super delayed. I feel like it's getting a little less delayed, but not quite as much. I don't know. Alright, is Pierce in his house? Yes, he is. Hey, Lemonade, it's perfect timing. Come take a look, Hawkeye. What is that? You're not gonna believe it. I made a windflower crown. I was out jogging the other day, and somewhere around the 53rd mile, inspiration just hit me. Or it could have been dehydration. Either way, check it out. And stay hydrated. Building it was like a hard workout routine, and you know I'm all about sharing my routines. So what do you say? You want to get yourself built... You want to get built making yourself a windflower crown? Teach me. Well, I could. Or I could give you this paper that I wrote the recipe on. I vote for the paper. As long as you can read my handwriting, you've got this. Also, um, I don't know if you can tell, I did end up putting little stars on my face. I don't know if I'll, I'll keep them or not. I don't think they read super well. I was tired and I was bored and so I put them on my face. But yeah, I lasted not even a week trying to not play on my Animal Crossing island when you all aren't here to watch. And I, um, But I thought that y'all might not want to watch me do the same process of copying over the, the designs for everything over and over again, because it's pretty much the same design, but- Hey! Welcome in! Cat X Ban Joe. Cat X Ban Joe? Sorry if I totally butchered that, but hello! Hi! Welcome in to you as well! We're playing some Animal Crossing today with an awful audio delay that I don't know how to fix. So... Hi! Cat X Ban Joe. Okay. That makes more sense. Hello. Let's see if I can fish without the audio cues. Oh, no, I can't fish without the audio cues. You're looking online for a Nintendo Switch? Well, I hope you can find one in your budget. Well, that sounds lovely. It's super fun to get new gaming consoles. Bugs don't bug me. All right. Let's do it. If anyone has 
any tips for reducing the delay? No worries, no worries. You're not, you're not my hostage. You can go whenever you'd like. Hey, hi there. Oh, right. Didn't I see you at the store a while back? I knew you looked familiar. No worries if you forgot, but my name's Mabel. I'm an old friend of Timmy, Tommy, and Tom Nook. We go way back. Anyway, that's how I heard about Lemon Star, and I came out here to sell clothes and stuff. My dream is to open up my own shop right here on the island, but I gotta build up a customer base first. Yeah, of course. Get some rest. I'll try to stop by a couple times a week, so if you see me around, don't be a stranger, alright? Oh, hey, since you're here, like, right here, do you want to see the stuff I'm selling today? I'd love to look. Great! Let me just open up today's catalog for you. Um, I will be, yeah. I wanted to do some dailies real quick. Um, let's see if there's anything to do that I want to buy. Uh... Oh, I see. Well, I'd love to hear your suggestion. On the days I'm here, I'll be selling first thing in the morning till about 10 at night if you want to shop. Oh, hey, peeps. I need to catch my breath and just kind of flopped here. You know, watching the sky is really calming. Here, let me show you what I worked on last night. Oh, I don't have a Discord set up yet. I haven't even been streaming for a week yet, so... I also don't have a chatbot set up. <laughs> um, so... Uh, if you just, like, whisper me a link to the image, I can, I can probably work on it, work with that. Um, here, let me... Hang on. Okay, I gotta try to log into my Twitch chat on my OBS. This is gonna get frustrating. So, if you just whisper my streamer account, I can, and just send, like, a link to the image or the inspiration, I can go ahead and check that way. And these little star rocks that I, I'm looking at here are the ones that I built last night and yesterday on stream. And I think they're really cute. I'm very happy with them. Alright. Let's see if we can catch a fish. Okay, um, hang on. Maybe I've got my settings wrong. Oh, golly gosh. Hang on. No, that's not right. Uh, privacy center? No, that's not right. How did I just view my account settings? Oh, found it. Security and privacy. There we go. Okay. Now you should be able to whisper me. Sorry, I apparently had that off for whatever reason. I'm very proud of these little stars that I made, though. I think they're super cute. Oh, and here's a money tree. things from her so we can get the shop but I don't like her offerings she brought the ugliest clothes I've ever seen all right let's see let's grab our daily nook miles all right 250 bonus miles Check the Nook shopping. Let's see if there's anything good today. A lawnmower. It's kind of fun. Maracas. Plain cap. Oval glasses. Oh, those shorts are kind of cute. I was also, I was rewatching my VOD yesterday. And I was kind of curious if I should get the Princess Peach crown. Because I think it kind of fits with my, my vibe here. I don't know. We'll see. That promotion, I don't think it, it goes away. 
All right. A B D. Let's put some. Let's put some bone bell. Not bone. Let's put some bells in storage so we can earn interest. Sign off. All right. Let's head over to the next shopping and see what there's to buy today. And then I think we'll be good with the dailies and we can jump right into making some custom designs. Hey Rex. Yay, are you out for a walk? Let's talk. I'm gonna go real hard today. I'm gonna play hard, snack hard, yell cool cat hard. All right, you do that, Rex. So let's bury our 1,000 bells here. All right, and then we want to bury 10,000 bells, so I guess now I have no money. All right, bury in the hole. Hey Puddles, it's nice to see you got your house all set up. I'm so happy you came. What's the latest? Stretching after dance practice is mondo important. You also have to clean up the stuff you knocked over while dancing so you don't trip over it later. Got it. I want to talk to all my neighbors so I don't lose my streak. I don't know if it's a streak or not, but you get enough miles if you do it enough days. Rex's house. I've talked to Pierce and Phoebe, so the last one to talk to is Ione. I think that's how you say her name. Alrighty. Oh, wow, she's pretty. Wow, I already have a visitor. You must be Lemonade. I'm new here, so it's great to meet someone who knows their way around Lemon Star. Oh, my name's Ion. I probably should have told you that first, Gleam. Oh, hello. I like you. You're cute. I like your tail. Alright. I think that's everyone that I've talked to. I didn't mean to sit down. So let's check no shopping. Let's see if there's anything good. Because we want to spend five thousand bells, I think it is. So that we can um, unlock the cooler, bigger one. But I like the aesthetic of the small one too. I just like the opportunity to buy more stuff better. <laughs> hello, hello. Welcome to Nook's Granny. Thanks. There's a little food cart. How much is the food cart? Uh, no, not right now. Let's see. A homework set. Yeah, I'll grab that. Oh, I have no bells left. Uh-oh. Alright, here's what we have today. Um, none of this does anything for me. I think we're good. Alright, let me check. Any other social medias? Um, no, not really. I, uh, I have a Tumblr. But, uh, I really, I don't have a whole lot of social media. I see. Oh, someone's wants my attention. Hey, 
lemonade. I'm going for a walk because I was all unpacked and figured, hey, I got feet. I do stuff with them. Besides, I hope to see if I walked around outside long enough. And I did. Thanks, feet. So, um, I got a welcome to the island thing, but for you, even though you already live here. It's not weird. Oh, a present. Thank you, Rex. A butter churn. I made it back on my last island. The best one I've ever made. No sharp edges, no bad smells, and weighs what it's supposed to. We're gonna be the bestest friends that ever friended, cool cat. Let's place down the butter churn he just got. Oh, it's cute. It's kind of a shame that it doesn't like churn, but I like it. It's cute. Let's put it out, out front of this house. I think it works out here. There it is. Right, I caught that wharf roach. I need to donate it to Blathers. And I dug up the fossil. Um, is it not possible for you to just uh, whisper me the link to the image? So I can view it? Ooh, who? Oh dear, pardon me. Do have a look around. No rush, take your time. Uh, assess fossils. I would like you to assess this one, please. Let me see here. Hmm, indeed. Hoo hoo! This is most surely an Archelon tail. Yes. I will donate it to the noble institution of learning. It's very well preserved. Uh, no, no thank you, Blathers. Alright. Yes, you may. Um, make a donation. Um, I have a wharf roach. Eek, a wharf roach. What a wretched thing. Alas, I am obliged to ask, would you like to learn more about this specimen? No, thanks. Yes, yes, understood. No bugs were the bane of my existence. Rest assured, the wretched thing will get the best of care here. Might I help you with anything else? I'm fine. Thank you. Alright. about everything. So I think we can help her down and start doing custom designs. Um, I'm trying not to stall, but also I want to give you- oh, there's wood that I dropped. Give you time to figure out if you can send it to me or not. I'm not trying to be difficult, I just don't really have a whole lot of social media. It's a really windy, rainy day outside here where I'm at, and I honestly like days like this. I think they're really calm and relaxing. It's a great day to just bundle up and do something nice and cozy. Oh. I love the 
sound of a water plant. Let's see. Let's sell off some of these items. Because we don't really need them. sell. I'm offering a whole lot of things. I've got a bunch of fish and some um, some shells and some clumps of weeds. Alright. Nice. Good chunk of, chunk of cash. Alright, we got a uh, Nook points. Nook rounds. Go ahead, be shellfish. I wish you could center items on tables outdoors. Okay. Oh, like a cute little sweater. It might be a really cute thing to make. I don't. I'm not familiar with what uh, cutie honey is. Is it in like an anime or a brand? Now we can sleep on a bed instead of a cot. Ah, the luxuries of real beds. They cannot be overstated. It's an anime. Oh, lovely. It might be super cute to work on a sweater though. I think that's a great idea. Do you want me to draw inspiration from that specific design? Start by getting rid of all of these weird lines on it. We don't need weird lines. I love the little um, knit texture. I can't remember if they make the arms symmetrical or not, though. Because I know there's a front and a back. Yeah, okay, so you can do each arm individually. That's nice. Whoop, that wasn't right. All right, let's get a sweater going. It's certainly sweater weather here. I love a good sweater. All right, let's see. I think I want the whole body of the sweater to be and I, this is going to shock you guys. You aren't going to believe it, but I want it to be light blue. Uh, I want it to be lighter blue. That's a little saturated, don't you think? Oh, uh, that's a lovely color. Let's make it the same on the back and the sleeves, too. Alright. Now. Oh, you want me to recreate that sweater exactly? I was just going to draw inspiration from it, because I haven't seen the anime. So I, I don't particularly want a sweater with a boob window, to be honest. 
as cute as it is. No, it's all right. I appreciate the inspiration. I definitely want to draw from the design. I think it's really fun. Um, I just personally don't want to copy someone else's design exactly. It would make me feel a little frustrated if someone did that to me. I'm trying to decide what color I want the um, the hem to be here. Hang on, let's see. Okay, it needs to be a little bit taller. I do wish that they didn't stretch out the design on the sleeves so much, so that you could make it a little more detailed. But yeah, you win some, you lose some. Okay, let's see. Let's actually... Here's an idea. I think that's kind of cute. I like it. Let's put some at the neckline, too. Oh, it's on the back right now. Oh, you thought I wanted to do the exact same one? If I if I wanted the design, uh, I just saw that you did it. It's a super lovely design. I think you did a really good job. I'm super impressed, genuinely. Um, but once you get the Able Sisters, you can import designs from other players. So uh, I could just theoretically get the design from you and not have to recreate it. Because I am planning to unlock the Able Sisters. Okay, let's see. It's a lovely design, though. You did an excellent job. I want to bump up the saturation on this blue a little bit, I think. Yeah, I think that helps. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see. Now, I want to do a big central motif like you've done here. It might be fun to do kind of a secondary, smaller, thinner stripe. Kind of through here like this. And then you've done something super interesting where it kind of goes up a little bit at the base of the heart, which I really like. I think that's super clever. Is there two? It is. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna make it in blue and yellow, because those are the colors I really like, if you couldn't have guessed. <laughs> and I don't think I'm gonna have it have a boob window, just because I don't exactly have anything to show off down there. It wouldn't do much for me. Okay, let's see. done that wrong. Yes. This is a lot of cross-referencing. Alright. And then four with a bit on the side. Three, four. And a bit. 
I'm gonna one in and then one two three I think that's three yeah it's three look at that that's so cute you did a great job with this heart it looks so clean I want to make it like a cream color I think that's really cute. I like it. You could even do like this and have it go. Oh, I like that. That's kind of fun. Yeah, look at that. That's really interesting. I think I like that. Put dots. Do I want dots? I don't think I want dots. No, I don't want dots. All right. Okay. I think I've drawn inspiration from it. I really like what you've done here. I could also try doing the collar in white, like you suggested. Or, like you did, even. What about another design? Well, I was hoping to spend some time doing designs unique to me this stream, if you want, um, if that's alright. Uh, but I would love to draw inspiration from pictures and designs that you guys have made. I think this is cute. We're gonna call it done. What is the again? What is the anime called? Cutie honey. Let's call it cutie inspired. Cutie. And typing is really hard on the switch. Nope, that's not right. In Inspired. Done. Well, let's put it on so we can have a cute outfit. Look at that! It's so cute! I would wear this sweater in real life. Custom Design Pro. You upgraded the pro version of the Custom Design app. That makes you the fine custom, custom, pro custom designer. Yes, yes. I'll reward you with Nook Miles to commemorate your pro debut. Very cute. I think this sweater is very charming. Thank you for the idea. I think this was really lovely. Alright, let's... That's not what I want to do. Okay. Here's the ones that I did already, including some that I ended up doing last night, and the one that I'm wearing on my face. I'm very happy with them. I think they look really good. I don't know if they look good on my face. I'm still kind of split on that. But on the ground, they look awesome. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm totally tooting my own horn. Like, look at that. It's so cute. Very subtle, too. I like it. Once I get some shooting star fragments, I might drop them kind of around on the ground. I think that would look really good. Hopefully we'll have a shooting star stream eventually. I think it'd be really fun. of Sleeping Beauty. Interesting. Tell me more. So I'm, I'm hoping I can design some more stuff that I can put on the ground, especially.
So I want to create a good bit of ambiance. And I think that little round tiles are a great way to do it. Like for puddles, it might be fun to put some actual little puddles outside of her house. That might be fun, actually. Maybe we'll do that. Because I love puddles. She's, I think she might be my favorite villager on the island already. She's a cute little frog. Black bass, the most metal of all fish. I have to focus extra hard because of the audio delay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to troubleshoot this after stream because it is not optimal. But we should make some little puddles to go outside Puddles' house. I think that'd be really cute. Let me see if there's a guide online for color matching grass. grass. No. Let me see if I can find it. Skin tone matching, bangs, eye color matching, face paint, rib dress, band-aids, fruit juice, gray stone, gyno footprints, pixel villager faces, sand art, hair color, skin tone. No. Okay. Well, I guess we'll have to figure it out ourselves. Hello? Hi, welcome in, Kirby Loves Horror. Sorry, I don't know why I said hello so weird. We're gonna be working on some Animal Crossing custom designs. Um, right now I'm trying to figure out what color grass is. So, you know, riveting stuff, I'm sure. Um, how are you today? I hope you're well. Yeah, green, thank you. That's very helpful, actually. <laughs> the problem is there's a lot of different greens. Only life were so easy, but no, the Animal Crossing devs have decided to be really cutesy and go in and do a lot of detail. Thank you, I am having a lovely day. I'm enjoying the rain where I'm living. It's a really nice, cool, cloudy, rainy day, which I'm sure many people are not crazy about, but it's one of my favorite kinds of days. So, you know, I'm having a pretty great day. Thank you for ask or thank you for the w well wishing. Yeah, I love rain. It was raining the past couple of days on the island in Animal Crossing, and it was so lovely. You posted another link to my whispers. Okay, give me just a sec to check and check that. Oh, cute! You did really well with this design. Good job. I don't know if I'm gonna use any dress designs, cause even though that's absolutely gorgeous, it's okay. You're fine. It's really easy to accidentally double send things in this game, especially. Uh, I don't know if I'll make a dress design just cause I don't, I'm not the kind of guy that wears dresses. Um, so it wouldn't be for me. You're going to watch while working on your island. Awesome. Well, if you, if you feel so inclined, I would love to hear any updates that you're making, what your villagers are up to. I am, I'm super nosy. I love knowing what people are doing on their islands. Um. So we're gonna display this grass test on the ground and we're gonna see how close of a color match it is. I think it's too saturated actually. Oh, way too saturated and too bright. It needs to get darker. So maybe yellower almost? We'll start with darkening it. Darkening it. I can't speak. 
change design. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So let's... You restarted, so you're working on everything. Me too, actually. This island, I restarted it on Thursday? Yes, Thursday. Um, and I'm, I'm actually really happy with how it's going. Oh wait, did we restart our islands on the same day? That's kind of crazy. I think our islands might be like birthday buddies. Okay, so this is still too light, but now it's too desaturated. Okay, we're getting closer, we're getting closer. It is handy that you don't have to put it down every time. Our islands are birthday buddies, that's actually so cute. So let's make it a little bit more vivid and a little darker. This looks really dark, wow. Oop, wait. Hang on, I gotta change it. So I'm trying to color match the grass. But I don't know if I'm doing a fantastic job. But I've never color matched anything before, so, you know. No, not that much. Let's try it. Let's see if it matches better now. Let's see, let's see. We're getting closer. I think we're still a little too bright. That's not, that's my cute design that I made. Change design. Ah. <laughs> well, in your defense, in your defense. Uh, yeah, you know what, it's fair. I, I totally get that. Um, but in your defense, in your defense, Animal Crossing starting up is an entire, well, entirely black screen with a little thing in the corner. So, an entirely black screen without the little thing in the corner? I understand how you got there. Hey, wait, this is looking really close. This is really close. I think we're making good progress. Here, let's change the design. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not satisfied. I want to see if I can get it even more perfect. I think I want to make it a little bit more, less vivid. Let's see. I think this is pretty good. Because I don't even need it to be this close. I'm just trying to make like a, a little puddle for my villager because she's a frog. Aww. I want to desaturate it, I think, even more. Your house has come. You have a you have a house now instead of a tent. Yeah, congratulations. Good job. All right, let's see. That's too desaturated. Hang on. I went too far. Science has come too far. What color roof did you pick for your house? I picked yellow. I liked the yellow color. Confirm. Grass check. Red. The red's a good- Whoa! Whoa, 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 look at this. The red's a good one, though! It's only basic because it's pretty good. Like, it's a very universal color. It works well with the design. I- It's a good- It's- it's a good color. Just because something's basic doesn't mean it's bad. Oh wow, look at this. We are really close. Hang on. This might be the closest we can get, but I want to see if I can push it. I have really weirdly sensitive to color eyes, so let me see if I can match it even closer. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Look at that. That's really good. I think I'm gonna call it. I think I'm gonna call it. Look at that. That's just ridiculous. Alright, I'm very satisfied with that. I'm gonna remove that from the ground, because otherwise I will not find it again. <laughs> so let's uh let's let's start making the um the pond, the puddles for puddle, for puzzle, puddle. Mm. My words are broken. 
Okay, let's change this design. So now that we have this green, we just have to do <laughs> the rest of the design. So I want it to look like little uh, puddles, and I want to kind of draw inspiration from anime style water, I think. So let's go in, let's start with the circle tool. I think that'll be a good place to start. Or as they say, let's start at the very beginning, because I've heard that's a very good place to start. I feel like this will all look a little better. Oh no, yeah. I managed to collect all of the stuff for the Nook shop in one day, but I had to use a Nook mile core and I got kind of lucky with my rocks. Oh, by the way, Kirby, I have a question for you. Because on my end, my audio for my game sounds super delayed. And I was curious if it's it's that way for you or if it's just a weird thing going on in my OBS. Okay, cool. So it's just weird for me. That's good. Honestly, I can handle it being weird for me as long as it's not weird for you guys. It does make fishing kind of hard though. Because <laughs> it wasn't doing this the last time I streamed this, but that was yesterday and today's today, so everything's different. Oh, and what is he doing now? He's a menace, like Spider-Man. 98,000 bells, yeah. I mean, I, I managed to pay that off. I don't know how. I, like, I, I don't know where I got the, the bells from. But now I'm broke, because I paid him all my money. <laughs> Alright, pump. You'd rather have bells than miles? Right now I'm trying to figure out a good shape for this, because I'm not sure if I'm happy with the shape it is right now. <gasps> Wait, I just had a super good idea. I just had a super good idea. So what if I took the um, the design here for these puddles and I put little like flowers floating in them? That would be so cute. I could put like little flowers and stars floating in the water. Oh, that's such a cute idea actually. I'm a genius. I'm so smart. Yeah, it can be like little cherry blossom puddles, because Puddles is a pink frog villager, so it'll fit her theme. Oh, I am, I'm a genius. I'm really proud of this idea, actually, genuinely. Oh no, you're so done. What is Nook doing now? Oh no, you spilled your soda? I'm so sorry, did it get on anything? I'm really sorry. It's always really harrowing when you spill stuff while you're gaming. Oh no! All over your paper from your dance rehearsal? Ah. Oh man, has it been one of those kind of days? I'm really sorry. I really understand. It's definitely frustrating when things like that just keep happening. It's not fair. And on your wall, oh, jeez, old Pete, that just sucks, doesn't it? I'm so sorry. sorry yeah it'll be okay everything will be all right I promise 
If you've spilled water on a paper, in my experience, it's best to lay it somewhere it can sit flat and, like, gently dab at it with a paper towel. Um, and the wall uh, should be alright if you just go at it with a nice bit of scrubber. Like with a, a damp towel. I said a nice bit of scrubber and realized that wasn't a thing that people said. Sorry. But it's really frustrating when you spill a drink, so I, I really I really understand. this I do kind of like that everything will be okay <sighs> good job I'm really proud of you I'm glad you managed to get it sorted I know how frustrating it can be when you're trying to have fun and then all of a sudden you make a big old mess. So I'm really glad that you managed to get it all sorted. Good job. Ooh, what if I did some little rocks around the pond? That might be nice. You know what? That's a good spin on it. That's a good spin on it. You had to clean anyways. I don't know why I'm outlining these. I don't know if it'll do anything to the appearance of them, but I am doing it. I like the way it looks on the pixel art. Might be good to like do a gradient kind of around the outside. You're gonna go to Treasure Island, like a, a Nook Mile Ticket Island. I hope you find some goodies. It can be a great place to grind for some iron nuggets for the shop. That's how I got mine, was uh, Nook Mile Ticket Islands. In the spring, there should be some fun events to do here in Animal Crossing. I think I'll keep the the marking around it for now, and if I end up not liking it, I can get rid of it. Oops. You aren't gonna spend 14 days trying to build that store. You know what, fair enough. That's how long it took me on my first playthrough, and then never again. <laughs> I refuse to let it eat my life like that. if it does anything to the appearance of it. Let's name it. Um, Puddles Puddle. D D L E. Puddles. It's not done yet. I'm gonna spend some time 
making it look a little nicer and a little bit more like have depth to the color of the water but for right now I just want to um, check and see how the colors look against the grass like that's way too saturated It's okay, you're fine. You're fine. I've got two little brothers myself, so I definitely understand what it's like when your brothers are just suddenly in your bedroom. I love you guys, but why are you here? I am I, I'm I'm doing things. So let's go in and desaturate this a little bit. Much better. And then I want to put like sort of a darkness to them so that in the middle. Mm hmm. It's like, why are you guys here? I love you, but what do you do? But also, we've got cats, and for whatever reason, the cats all kind of prefer me. I'm one of the favorite people of the cats. And so, they'll just come into my room because a cat is in my room, and they're like, Oh, Lemonade, I didn't know you were in here. Uh, and I'm like, this is my bedroom. I have six cats, actually, so, you know. Yeah. Don't have any pictures of them on my laptop so I can't I cannot show you get you the cat but I have one who's gray and she's got stripes <laughs> donate my cats I, I don't think it works that way one of them's gray and she's got stripes one of them is um, sort of brown and splotty one of them, she has three legs and a little white tummy and brown stripy back. One of them has a white tummy and a brown stripy back and he smells really bad. <laughs> all the time. I love them all. They're dear. They're dear to me. And I'm definitely not excited about having to go off to college and have my poor little babies away from me forever. Not forever, just for when I'm at the campus. But I am going away to dorms in the fall. And I'm excited, but I'm gonna miss my sweet kitties. You know. But I am sure if you've got the financial uh, space for it, there are plenty of kitties at your local shelter uh, that will would love to be taken in. Shelters always need people to adopt their cats. I'm I'm big I'm a big adopt don't shop kind of guy, you know. If you can do it, it is definitely worth. Yeah, sounds lovely. Cats are lovely creatures, but it really depends on the animal. Every cat is very different. Um, I personally recommend if you're looking for a little bit of consistency and kind of like a guarantee of the animal being what you want to adopt older than two older than one or two years old because cats under that age their personalities change a lot so I have cats we got most of our cats under that age and I love them all dearly I wouldn't change them for the world but they definitely changed a lot since we got them they are different creatures now and this is this is for coming from someone who i'm obsessed with kittens i love kittens so much but also all three of um 
all three of the cats that I raised from kittens, like, are totally different as adults. They are completely different. Same with your dog, yeah. I really like the catch lights that I'm doing here, actually. Not the toot my own horn, but toot toot, you know? <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. I really should go in and copy these color palettes over from my other pieces because I know they look good, but I don't want to do that because I'm lazy. Hello, sweet girl. I have a sweet cat in here now. She is currently laying on the floor pretending to be a rug. A lazy cat? Yeah, you definitely want to look older for that. Kittens are... <laughs> I love kittens, but I did not sleep much when I had kittens. That's what I'll say. I loved them dearly. I wouldn't trade them for the world, but... Oh. Kittens are a lot. They're lovely. They're beautiful. They're so sweet. And they're very small, but they are full of energy all the time, no matter what. Even if you want to be sleeping, or eating, or doing anything that isn't playing with kitten. Okay, I like this. Let me go in and do some shading. Yeah, are your cousins younger? My, Shh, I didn't, okay, I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that from you. Yeah, my cousins, one of my cousins is a little younger and I love her dearly, but she was definitely a handful for a while. She's mellowed out now. Okay, hang on, I gotta create a new blue tone here. Oop, that's not what I wanted. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. I want it to be kind of like a darker tone so that I can use it to shade in here. Thank you. I'm really proud of it so far. So I'm trying to keep everything looking really naturalistic. Um, Let's save my work. That's not what I meant to hit at all, but that's fine. Whoa, I think it's looking really cute on the ground. Okay, that gives me some ideas for what I need to do. Sorry, Phoebe. I'll, I'll do some decorations for you next. I'll do some decorations for you next. Okay, let's see. Let's see. I think I want to go in and just darken everything just a touch. I think that'll make the highlights pop a little bit more. And then I want to make this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there we go. That's looking good. Yeah, 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 yeah. What if I do like a, an orange stamen? How does that look on these flowers? <gasps> That's cute. I like that. I'm, I'm going to do that. Mm 
And let's add a couple more little pink dots, too. I deserve it. It's a treat for me. I like to just say things are a treat, even if they aren't. Just because I think I deserve a little treat, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is cute. This is really cute. And then, what if I did some ripples around the flowers? Uh, not sure. Um, I want to make a darker ripple color, I think. Let's try it. Yeah, let's try this color. Let's try this color. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think this is looking good. Yeah, this is cute. Oh, I tried, um, I tried Taiyaki last night. Uh, we went to a sushi bar and for my sister's birthday. And we had taiyaki, or there was taiyaki on the menu, and I tried some. And I wasn't sure if I would like the red bean paste, but I'm really glad I did, because it was really tasty. So, you know, here's your sign to try red bean paste, I guess. It definitely... You could definitely try... You could definitely tell it was beans. Is what I'll say. It was good, but it was definitely still beans. <laughs> okay, I think this puddle actually looks really cute. Hang on, wait, why is that actually super cute? Hold on. How'd I do that? <laughs> I didn't know I was good at making custom designs at Animal Crossing. Oh, you're really into Asian food culture? Uh, what countries, like, just all of Asia or any specific countries? I just like desserts, no matter where they're from in the world. India, Japan, Mexico, America, I just like desserts from everywhere I've tried. I just like to eat a little treat, it's for me. I think I'm gonna make a couple more puddles, cause her name is Puddles, she deserves it, it's a treat for her! More like South Korea and Japan mostly. Yeah, those are- I- I made some mochi actually a little while ago and they were pretty good. I didn't roll my mochi skins thin enough, so if I made them again I would definitely need to roll them out way thinner. Um, but I was pretty proud of what I managed to do with my mochi. My setting- my filling also didn't set, so they were kind of like floppy. But I did good, because I had never made mochi before, so I was really proud of myself. Ah, this hurts, even though I know it's a copy of the design. It hurts. Oh, it hurts. Yeah, I was still really happy with it, even though it wasn't exactly uh, perfect. I, I ate them, they were tasty. I had a good time. So, you know, I'd say that was a success. Let's see. I want to make, like, smaller puddles that aren't as clumped together. So let's make, like, kind of like this. And then maybe, maybe one here. And one here. And then one here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. But I didn't know I could actually do pixel art. I this is this is a discovery for me. 
Oh, sorry. Jeez, I feet. New talent unlocked. For real. I, I didn't know that this was a thing I was good at. Peach Crossing 07 underscore. Hello, welcome in. Hi, how are you doing? I am discovering that I am somewhat good at making little Animal Crossing designs. How are you? That's kind of cute. Keep editing, keep hitting. I didn't want to do that. Alright, let's see. No, that's not right. Okay, let's see. I'm also wonderful. That's a lovely way to to enter a conversation. I love that. I'm glad you're doing wonderful. We're doing some custom designs right now. Here, let me show you um, the first one that I've done. Yeah, I didn't know that I could do this. Um, so here's the one that I just did just now. The little puddles. This is for my villager puddles. She's a frog, so I wanted to get her some little puddles with flowers in them. And I'm gonna make a couple more. And then I also, yesterday and last night, made some little stepping stones with stars on them for my for my house. Whoa, there's a beetle. Um, I don't know yet. I just started this island on on Thursday. I want to do like kind of whimsical, magical. Um, ah, no, no, I scared it off. Ah, I'm not very good at catching bugs. Um, I want to do very magical, whimsical, um, like fairies and magic and that kind of stuff, but also it's just whatever makes me happy, honestly. Whatever tickles my fancy. A quilted jacket. Oh, that's kind of cute. I want to wear the jacket that I made, the sweater that I made though. Wear. There we go. Uh, and I just spent some time making these puddles and matching. <gasps> Hi! Speak of the devil! But you're not the devil, Puddles. You're a frog. Hi! I have an idea. Let's see how many more times we can talk to each other today, Splish. Okay, let's talk. Uh, I've been lugging this fishing pole around so long, my shoulders are all stiff. Maybe I should quit carrying it and just go fishing? Ugh, I don't want to go fishing. I want to just look cool. <laughs> Puddles, you're silly. Um, she's so cute. I love her. So we're going to change this design up some more. I want to make these puddles look a little bit less round. So that's kind of how I've been doing all of these designs, is I start with this. Yeah, I love frog villagers. Oh, she's not silly. She's cool. Got it. I'll keep that in mind. Um... I really like frog villagers. I feel like people don't always like them. And they don't they do have a bunch of really weird frog villagers. But I love the frogs. Yeah, duck villagers are really cute. And I could use these designs for a duck villager too, actually. Pretty much any villager that needs to be soggy. I love soggy villagers. You have Bill the duck? Hang on, what does he look like? Let me look him up. Bill, nope. Bill the Duck, Animal Crossing New Horizon. Oh, he's cute! I like him. He's just a little guy. He's just a little guy. He's cute, I like him. You have Pom Pom and Derwin on your Forever Island. Yeah, I love how small the duck villagers are. I have some amiibo cards because I used to be super, super, super into this game. So I splurged and I bought a bunch of amiibo cards. Um, so we will see if we end up putting those amiibo villagers onto the island that we have right now. I think it might be fun to do, but also we'll see if I have any villagers that I want to replace or that I'm comfortable replacing. Because I like my current loadout. I, I have Pierce, Phoebe... Rex, Ion, and P 
puddles. I think I own is pretty popular, actually, but I don't keep up with the villager meta, you know? <laughs> my favorite villager just like in general or on my island because those answers are really different um in general okay in general i would say my favorite villager is either coco or tangy um tangy for obvious reasons <laughs> she's you know she's an, an orange cat she's cute i love her she's darling she's a good girl she can do no wrong. I helped her hide the bodies. What? Um, <laughs> um, I also, I also just like a lot of different villagers. I like, I think her name is Meringue, the pink strawberry rhino. Kirby, you love horror. You can't say anything. Um, I think Meringue is a really cute villager. If that's her name, I don't remember. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Um, but I I don't think I have a whole lot of villagers I dislike. I like the villager Julian. He's a horse, like, unicorn villager. I really like him. Um, I feel like I generally tend to prefer the girl villagers to the boy villagers. It's not a rule. I just, I find the girl villager personalities generally less abrasive I think some of the male personalities are really annoying but I think my f your mother has blessed your with Stan Stanley? Do you have a Stanley cup? Your favorite is Maple. Wow. A tattoo? Is that's that's the cute little bear, right? Stanley cups are cute. I don't have one because I am broke, but they're cute. I like that they come in lots of different colors. I'm all about customizability. Maple's the little bear? I don't. I've only been streaming since Thursday, so I haven't gotten around to setting it up. Should I? I feel like I maybe I should. Yeah, I love the little cub villagers. They're so cute. But I would be hard-pressed to find a species of villager. I just don't like any of them. Yeah, probably, huh? I'll have to do that at some point. So I can remember you forever. I won't forget you, I promise. And hey, if you keep hanging out, hanging out over around here, I, I would be guaranteed not to forget you if you keep chatting. Maybe I'll try and set that up tonight or at some point. Uh, I don't want to set it up on stream, mostly because I am preoccupied with doing cute little ponds. Puddles. They're puddles. You're really into small streamers? Yeah, I agree. I really prefer the small streamer vibes because, you know, people are guaranteed to see your chats and hang out. It feels more intimate. It's really enjoyable. P when streamers have thousands of viewers flooding their chats... pretty good with that kind of discord stuff in 2020 i set up quite a few different discords for school clubs and such but i just don't super didn't think people would want one i guess is the thing because i am such a small streamer i didn't think people would want one so bad that i would be like encouraged to make one so early because i haven't even streamed for a week yet you know? So, I wasn't sure that people would want a Discord. I didn't even think about it. Alright. But 
I'd love to build a community, you know? Because community is kind of part of why I stream. I love the atmosphere. See, here's the thing is I, <laughs> I don't have a schedule. I don't have anything set. I just like woke up this morning and then started streaming. So I can't guarantee that I will stream at the same time every day. I'll probably stream almost every day, but when is a crapshoot? Cause like, I, I don't know. I'm just doing this for fun and I'm kind of lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Like, if I was a personality type villager, I would be the lazy type villager, you know? Um, but I could totally go in and make a Discord. Because um, you, you guys are like the third people to ask about that today. So, I guess it's time. I expected it would have taken a little longer, but... You know. Ultimately, it's up to y'all. You guys are viewers um and i think it might be fun to get kind of more consistent with my times but also i can't guarantee that i will because yeah yeah thank you i appreciate that um i i um i kind of have to do stuff like take care of my brother so i take him to school most days You'll stock my Discord every day. That doesn't that doesn't encourage me, Kirby. You want to? Would you want to be called Kirby? By the way, how how should I address you when I'm telling you not to stalk me? <laughs> yeah. Okay, Kirby. That doesn't encourage me to make a Discord. I'm being silly. Look at this. I'm really happy with how this is turning out so far. Oop, that's not right. I haven't made any graphics I could use for a Discord. I would have to make some graphics too. I want everything to look good on my stream. That's a, a thing that I'm weirdly, I care a lot about. Is my streams looking good? I don't know why. But it's something important to me. Unless I should just use like my Twitch profile picture for the logo for the Discord. I don't know. Okay. Starting to shape up, I think. Yeah, let's go in and put some highlights on this water. I think that would be good. I might do one more bit of puddles so that I can have some good variation. Because even though I'm quite happy with my ability to make the puddles, I'm not great at using these custom designs. Oh, okay, cool. I didn't know you were a streamer. What do you stream? Probably Animal Crossing, based on your... Uh, Username, huh? Uh, is it this? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I like doing these ripples. I really, I really think they add a lot. Yeah. 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 Well, um, here, let me drop you a follow, because I'd love to see more small streamers streaming Animal Crossing. You got all the items for the Nook Shop! Yes! Ooh, flooring? Like a flooring for your house? All right, I think this is really good. Uh, should we put like a little bit of drops out here? I think it's good for now. Let's, let's, it'll be good for now and we'll see how it looks outside. Let's put it one here. Let's 
display on the ground. That's not what I wanted. I wanted it here. Display on the ground. Yeah, that's kind of cute. And I want like one or two more designs, I think. Hi, Puddles, I'm decorating for you. But I won't talk to you because you're getting passive aggressive about how many times I've spoken to you. Display on the ground. Why did it display over there? That's weird. Let's pick this up. So I want to put puddles near the bird the bird bath. I think that would look really cute. So let's display the first puddle on the ground. Display on the ground. Yeah. You begged your friend for bells? <laughs> I've done that. Now you're rich. Congratulations. Just like real rich people. Yeah, all right, let's do one more bit of puddles. Well, I can really only stream from my Switch because I'm streaming from a laptop that's a Mac laptop. So I can stream any games that I have on my Switch. I've been streaming, whoop, a little, whoop, hang on. I just threw my cartridges. Give me a second. <laughs> Come back here, please. Um, I've been streaming some Splatoon, um, Splatoon 3 specifically, because the DLC came out on the 22nd. So I've been really enjoying streaming that it's been super fun and i think in the future i might stream some breath of the wild or tears of the kingdom or uh, i might stream some ooblets which is a fun little like farming simulator kind of thing you play genshin but don't stream it i've never played genshin um i've heard great things about it i've just kind of never gotten around to it I don't really have a, a, ga a gaming platform that could work it. Yeah, Tears of the Kingdom was really good. I had a great time playing it for the first time. So I thought it might be a fun thing to kind of stream uh, on stream just as a cozy thing. But if I end up getting to affiliate, which I don't know if I will or not. I'll probably put any money I get from subs towards either some charities or towards getting new games. I'm not sure yet. Um, it really depends on how everything works out. All right, have a lovely day, Kirby. I'm, I'm sorry that you had so many shenanigans with soda. Have, have a lovely day. One of your streamer fun, your streamer friends, your. Hang on, I can't speak. One of your streamer friends got you into Genshin. That sounds fun. I feel like some games are definitely better played alongside a friend. For sure. Like Minecraft is fun, but it is really lonely if you play it by yourself, at least in my experience. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I want to make this like a couple of little puddles on one tile. No, that's not very good. But I've definitely discovered that I quite enjoy doing these little custom designs, so if they're fun to watch, it definitely would be a great thing for me to just stream these sometimes, kind of as a chill thing to do. Oh, that's not right. I need to get the color. No, I don't 
don't like that one. There we go. Let's make another little bit of puddles over here. I'll have to change the color of the outlines on these with the seasons. I just realized, because I've matched it to the spring grass, but... Or at least to the late winter grass. Which, obviously, won't be throughout the whole year. So, I'll have to figure something out about that. Or just get rid of the outlines. I don't know. We will see. I think I, I liked it because it helped flatten the background. So there wasn't all those little triangles from the grass poking through all my little puddles. But... Ultimately, it also makes the design less tr transferable. Whoa. From season to season. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, plain grass, I love the grass design in this game. I think it looks really good, but it definitely, for a really nice, fancy designed island, it doesn't fit. It's, I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to convey, but I can't convey it in ways that I'm satisfied. Whoop, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Much better. Um, but I haven't actually gotten an island to the state where I can even think about filling all the grass. So, hopefully that'll be something we can do with this island. So I want to get it all decorated and beautiful and filled and other adjectives indicating that I've spent a lot of time making it look good. Um, <laughs> but I... I haven't really spent a lot of time doing this sort of decoration. I only ever did it in Happy Home Paradise on my last save. So, I'm not super sure how it's going to play out. We will see, I suppose. And of course, if anyone in the chat ever has any ideas, I'm glad to take them. Um, I reserve the right to veto ideas, because it is my island at the end of the day, but I I kind of want it to be a collaborative project where we work together as a community to create something. I don't know. I think it'd be nice. You know what I wish I could put on this island? I wish I could put... You finished your tropical island, which is greenish because it's tropical. But you're doing a kid core island. Kid core sounds really cool for an island. I want to do. I want to keep some of the natural elements of this island. I really like the the glowing moss items. So I want it to feel kind of like a whimsical fairy forest with some more urbanized areas that draw, definitely from like fairy core, kid core kind of stuff. I think, but we'll see how it actually plays out, because I can't guarantee that that'll be the plan forever. <laughs> okay, let's see. But I'm, I'm really glad that people are liking watching me stream. I, I didn't expect I would have so many chatters. Kidcore with small babies, definitely. You will enjoy it. I almost think Kidcore is kind of like a nostalgia core. But I don't know a whole lot about this sort of thing, so maybe maybe those are different things. Your forever island doesn't have a theme. That makes sense, because that's probably just where you put stuff that you just like, right? Whoa.
because my old island also didn't have a theme and I didn't know how to use uh, custom designs or I guess I didn't really think to so I didn't do anything super cool with that even though it would have been awesome I think custom designs really elevate an island oof jeez old teeth <laughs> that was a big stretch But it turns out I really enjoy pixel art. This is really fun. I didn't realize that I would like it so much. So I do normally I do regular art, which is still kind of pixel art, just on a really big scale. But in the past, my attempts at pixel art have been frustrating at best and downright upsetting at worst. So. I don't know what possessed me to even give it a shot. Glad it did though. I'm really happy with how this is turning out. You found a huge custom design discard. Oh, that sounds awesome. I imagine that really boosts how your island has developed. I I should probably do that, but there's something small and prideful in me that's like, what if you just made them all yourself? And I know that's not sustainable, <laughs> so that's probably not going to be what happens, but what if? You know? I also have a flag idea that was pitched to me by another chatter who's usually in here, but they live on the exact opposite side of the world to me, so... They had to go to bed so they could wake up early for something important tomorrow. Uh, and they gave me a really good idea for a flag. So I'm excited to try that out. Oh, you plan all your islands beforehand. Interesting. I would have never thought to do it that way. I kind of like the spontaneity of doing it just like as it happens but that probably leads to some really gorgeous cohesive islands if you have any links you can whisper me the links for your islands like if you have dodo coat or dream dream addresses because i would love to stop by and give them a tour they sound beautiful all right look at that Yeah, I'd love to see. Cause it just sounds gorgeous. And of course, if you don't mind, it might be a great way for me to get some inspiration for decorating my own island. So I've been trying to get inspired by how other people do their islands. Because I'm, I'm, I just recently kind of started getting into looking at how other people do it. And it's so pretty. I have some ideas already like I'm gonna make my sort of shopping area into almost a farmer's market kind of thing because I planted my vegetables by my nook's cranny and I think that would look really cute to do it that way Okay, we're getting to the part of the the, the design where I put the flowers on. Oh, I forgot. I think I forgot to put the stamens on the last one. I need to go in and change that. 
You have so many friends who inspire your island so much. I feel like building a community is definitely a great way to be inspired and build islands that are really beautiful. Because I think the community aspect of Animal Crossing cannot be understated. And I didn't really focus on it for a long time. And I found that it's a lot more fun when you do. I just realized I totally stopped talking there for a while. I got too into it. There's something really fun and kind of hypnotic about just going in and doing this. Which means it may or may not be good stream content. I don't know, but I'm having a good time. I hope you guys are too. Alright, I need to go in, pop the stamens on, and then go in and do the shading. They're like little cherry blossom puddles almost. I'm very happy with these. Ooh, your tropical island named Peach Shore. Okay, I'll have to give that a look. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm gonna go in and give it a peek. Oop, that's not right. There we go. I really love the depth that doing the flowers this way provides. I think it really makes them look pop off the, the page or the ground. I'm not sure. Oh, that wasn't right. That was still not right. That was the same mistake. Let's go in and put my little ripples. I don't have a whole lot of room for them, but I really like them, so they're going in anyways. Okay, I think that's about all the rippling I can really do. These little puddles are so small. I think they're good. Puddles, puddle, three. I love the little sparkle sound effect, like, yes, I did do it, it is awesome. Thank you for noticing, game. Display on the ground. Hang on. I don't think I like the placement of these. I'm gonna put the, this puddle kind of here, I think. Display on the ground. Display on the ground. I feel like I need one more puddle design to really uh I don't know, fill this out. Just cause I feel like it's a little repetitive, but I like these designs. I think they look good. So I'll design one more after I visit your dream address, because I want to see. I want to do a tour. Let's visit the island of Peach Shore. Should I get some sleep? Yeah, I want to sleep. This is so cute. I should have taken my shoes off before I got in bed, though. That's gross. Welcome. Alright. No worries. Who 
If I'm not mistaken, you are from Lemon Star, yes? You must be the famous lemon. How did you know? Do you dream as pleasantly as those from Lemon Star? Forgive me. I have yet to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Luna. Think of me as a guide to the Library of Dreams. The Library of Dreams? A dream is but a manifestation of a memory that one holds dear and chooses to upload to the internet. My role is to ferry travelers between dreams, allowing one such as you to tour the islands of distant strangers. Once within the dream of another, it will be as though you've actually set foot on their island. Sounds fascinating, does it not? To visit another's dream, merely say to me, I want to dream it. This need not be a one-way matter if you wish. I can collect your dream of lemon star as well. Then I will spirit your dream through the channels of fiber optics to live in the library. And be shared with the world. Put simply, to share your dream of lemon star with others, tell me, I'd like to share a dream. Well, now that we have the introductions out of the way, how may I be of assistance? I want to dream. Of course, of course. But there are a few things I must clarify further before I guide you to a dream. Dreams, like many things these days, are downloaded from the internet. A connection is, of course, required. If you wish to dream of a specific island, there are two ways to do so. You may either provide me with that island's dream address, or you may simply tell it, tell me its name. Finally. If you would prefer to be surprised, I would be only too happy to choose a dream for you. Oh, one other wrinkle. Dreams are very fragile things. To prevent the introduction of glitches, you must go empty-handed. Do not worry. I will happily hold on to your belongings and return them after you wish. I believe that covers everything. Now, are you ready to link with the Library of Dreams? Yes, I am. And I shall connect to the internet to initialize a dream download. Connecting to the internet. Characters of this game talk a lot. <laughs> How shall I prepare your dream? Search by dream address. You don't mind if I display your dream address publicly on my stream, right? Just to make sure. So that, like, I'm not violating your privacy. Just in case. Alright. Just making sure. Before I typed it in on stream. Hey, Dog Seven Zero One oh, Three Six Confirm. Thank you. One moment while I browse the Library of Dreams. Connecting to the internet. The dream address you provided appears to be for an island called Peach Shore, is that correct? Yes, it is. Splendid. Everything is now sorted. Please close your eyes and relax. Connecting to the internet. Drift and compile and emerge within a dream of Peach Shore. Weird Rogal, hello! Did I say that right? I like your cute little licky cat. That's from Sailor Moon, right? Welcome in! Hi, hello! We're touring on the island of Peach Shore by Peach Crossing 07 underscore. Now, open your eyes. Weirdo, and yeah, Sailor Moon. Okay, well, hi, Weirdo. Hello. How are ya? You are now in a deep slumber, dreaming peacefully of an island named Peach Shore. Yeah. When you wish to awaken from this dream, you need only lie down in this bed. I will take care of the rest. Also, should you have any questions or any advice about dreams, please do not hesitate to ask. And with that, may your dream of Peach Shore be a sweet one. Alright, let's see some stuff. What's this? Welcome to the Custom Designs Portal. This terminal will allow you to take home a custom design made by this dream provider. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Let's look and see let's look and see what you've got. Peach crossing. Let's see. Searching the custom designs. Oh, 
these are cute. I like them. Okay. Let's let's do a tour. Let's head out. Oh. Dream gifts. You made it for a contest. You know what? Fair enough. There's little shells on the pad in the design. That's so cute. Let's open up these presents. Let's see what I got. What did I get? Nope, that's not the right button at all. Open. Oh, I see. So we can get all decked out in the appropriate, appropriate gear for this island. Me take my socks off. I don't think they match the outfit. That makes more sense. Pineapple Aloha shirt. That's very cute. Worn out jeans. I could wear that also. Slip on sandals. Oh, I love the slip on sandals. Let's wear the worn out jeans. Those are cute. Open. Oh, a hibiscus hairpin. Open. Aw, rainbow soft serve. Orange smoothie? And a hula top. Let's, let's see. Let's hold this. Oh, that's cute. I didn't know it worked that way. I'm running on water. Whoa. This is so cute. I love the little love flamingos. And the little peaches. A little cafe. Beachside cafe. Bike rentals. Oh, that's clever. I really like that. Someone lost their, their, their book. Oh, and here's the airport. Wow, you've really effectively funneled visitors in from the airport without making it feel cramped. That's really impressive. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, look at all this stuff. There's like decked out with gear. Yeah, the paths are great. I agree. You can go through here. Ooh, there's the museum. I think for the sake of time, I'm not gonna tour the museum today. Um, if that's all right. Just cause I don't wanna been too long. I want to make sure I can take in everything that this beautiful island has to offer. Let's see what's up here. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. There's a birdie. Hello, birdie. I can just hear it. Just hear it. Yeah, alright. So here's some stuff where you can do this palm trees. Hello. Peach. Don't worry, get sandy. This hat is so cute, by the way. I love the hat. Whose house is this? Flora. Oh, that's an awesome villager to have for this island. And Able Sisters. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, here's your house. Winter rhymes, we love sustainable energy. I've always had trouble incorporating those into my builds, so I'm, I'm really, I'm really satisfied by how you've done that. That looks really good. Oh, a little bench and vending machines, of course. Oh, a viewpoint. There's ladders? I didn't know there were ladders. Whoa. This looks so cool. Your use of height is insane. Look at this. You've got this whole like big sandy beachy area. Yeah, I knew you could climb vines. I just, I didn't know there were ladders in this game. Like ladders you could put out. I'd never seen them before. Oh, I know you could run inside the wheat. Very handy. There's all these lovely places to have a picnic. Look at all 
love this. This is so beautiful. Wow. Oh my gosh, this island is just stunning. Here's the beach. The star of the show. This is awesome. This is so cool. Peach Peach Crossing, you did so well. This is so pretty. I'm I think I'm obsessed. You did such a good job. This looks so awesome. Okay, I think I've have I seen everything that there is to see. Is there anything else you want to direct me to before I head out? I appreciate that. I just I'm calling it like I see it, man. This is this is gorgeous. It's excellently done. Oh jeez, I'm tired. Ugh. Dreaming makes me sleepy. I miss the froggy baby area? Hang on, I gotta go see that. Alright, where are we? Where is the museum? The museum is here. So there's a froggy baby area. Is that through here? Take the bridge, take the bridge, take the bridge, take the bridge. Hang on, I'm gonna check the map. <laughs> I am directionally challenged. Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it, okay. I am not good at navigating. <laughs> I'm really good at getting lost. Oh, it's a little, oh, that's a frog with sir, on the ground. Hello. I took the bridge, I found the bridge. I went around and I found it, but I found it. Froggy chair! Yeah. Heck yeah, I love froggy chair. I like these little desserts, is that what they are? I'm not sure. They're very cute though. Oh, I can check inside the houses? All right, let me stop in, let me give it a look. Hi! Uh, sorry about the mess. I haven't cleaned my room in ever. But I guess this is a dream, so there's a good chance you won't remember that anyway. <laughs> this looks so good. What is the, um, like the hanging curtain thing? This looks awesome. Can I lay in his bed? I can. It's kind of weird. I'm gonna get out of his bed. That felt, that felt weird. I like that you've included a kitchen space. This is such a cute little, it's like a micro home or a micro apartment. It even has a desk area. Oop. Ah, this is lovely. Oh, the cascading vines. Ooh, this is so good. Okay, let's see if there's any other houses around here to tour. Oh, this is the beach. Beach couch. Is this shooting stars? I think I just heard a shooting star. But I have such a strong audio delay, I don't think I'll be able to catch any. My house is your house, especially since this is your dream. In fact, you should be saying this to me. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. I love the little bag of groceries. The little chair and the reading nook. And the shoe boxes above the wardrobe. Oh, this is so charming. Excuse me, sir. I need to get out of here. Alrighty. Uh, interesting how the dream makes everything sound kind of weird. Now let's check the map and see where the other houses are. 
I see, I see. Okay, let's see if we can track down the houses. I want to visit them all if it's possible. Where in the hell? I'm stuck on a tree. Let me through. I want it, I want it. Hi. Hello, are you Maple? No, you're June. It's a pleasure to see you again. Though, maybe we haven't met before, have we? Oh, Rainbow. Sorry about that. I just woke up from the most marvelous dream and I'm still getting my bearings. I think we are dreaming. Oh! It's Pika! Julia! Hello, my dear. It's a pleasure to meet you in such a dreamy place. I hope to meet you make some wonderful memories while you're here. More importantly, I hope you're able to remember those memories when you wake up, darling. I'll try my best. No promises. This little house is so cute. Oh, this is Julia's house. That's Flora's house. Let's see where's the next houses to look at. Okay, north. North, north, north. Ah, north. Oh, this house is so warm. Awesome, a visitor. It's funny because I had this dream where someone was going to visit me. Or wait, am I just like thinking of the dream I'm having now where you visit me? Ugh, what is it with dreams being so confusing? <laughs> oh, this is so pretty. I love how warm it is. It's very orange in here. I like it. All right, let's head out. Makes me look washed out. All right, let's see, what other houses do we have to check? Oh my goodness, that's a big yawn. I can't edit custom designs while I'm training. Fair enough. Oh, your campsite. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, you have the pocket camp, the pocket camp sign. Very nice. Oh, I didn't see this before. It's like a little peach bar. This is so cute. Oh, the island music echoes. That's really wild. Let's see. Oh, hello! Soleil. So, or Soleil. Hmm, and who might you be? I don't mean to be rude, it's just so strange the way strangers show up in one's dreams, Carnation. Yeah, alright. Let's see. Alright, let's head east. Hey, Soleil, I'm joining you for a while. Can I get through here? No. Okay. Fair enough. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. So now I need to go around the river and head south. Got it. There's a lot of stuff. Okay. I love how you have so much stuff packed on your island and yet everything feels still spacious. Nothing feels cramped or crowded. It's really impressive. It's a balance I struggle to strike, because I want everything to feel roomy, but not empty. Come on, I can get through here, can't I? Can't I? Yes. Okay, not the way I expected, but I can. Whoa! Hello, cat. I cannot see, cat. Please move. There's a cat in front of my face. Oranges, it's so cute. Cat, 
I cannot see. Please. Alright. I think I've seen all the houses. Or at least all the houses I can find. I think I'm gonna head back to my island, but this was lovely. Thank you so much for showing me your dream or sending me your dream address. This was an absolute joy to spend time on. Please, cat, do not knock over my water bottle while I'm streaming. I am trying to cultivate a good stream. You are being very con you are not being conducive to that. Okay, there's a cat on my lap now. Let's see if he stops being crazy. It was it's so beautiful here. You've done such a great job with everything. Is it time to wake? Or shall I press the snooze bar and let you stay? I want to wake up. Please close your eyes and relax. Now imagine the shrill tones of an old alarm clock. When you open your eyes, you will be in your bed, and I will be gone. Until next time, lemonade. Beep, 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 beep. That was the alarm clock. Cat, please do not step on my laptop. Please, cat. Please. <laughs> oh, I hadn't seen that pose before. That's really funny. I do not look like I wanted to wake up. Which, same. Alright. I am starting to lag a little bit. So I think I'm gonna make one last little design for Puddles. Hey, Puddles! Hey, Lemonade! So I'm going around Lemon Star saying hi to everyone. I have to get my brand out there, you know? Let the people know a future pop star walks among them. Hold up, I just remembered. I called out to you because I have something to give you. So, here you go. A present for me? A comb. I think it's perfect for this island. You seem like you'd have good taste. Can you find a place to put it? All right, I leave it to you. A comb. Sure, Puddles. Give me a sec. So is it just like a traffic cone? Yes, it's a traffic cone. I mean, I can prob- I can probably find somewhere for it, but- <laughs> Puddles, I don't think you understand the mission. I Sorry. Hello, Timmy. Hello, Tommy. Oh my goodness gracious, this is a big yawn. Alright. I want to sell this cone, this quilted jacket, the flak bath, the sand dollar. Um, I'll keep the striped shirt for now. The striped shirt's kind of cute. And my camping cot. I don't need a camping cot anymore. And done. Yes, sold. Alright. So let's make one last design of puddles for puddles. I think I want to change the way I've got these laid out, actually. I want to put... The one with lots of different little puddles here. Just lay on ground. And then kind of like... Display on ground. I think it goes, this should go here actually. This is very fussy and I'm imag I imagine once I have the like island designer kind of stuff for um, getting three stars this will be a lot easier but for now this is what we have to deal with and i think it'd be my it might be really nice to give her like some stepping stones out the front of her house yeah 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 yeah, yeah okay so we're gonna make some puddles and then if i feel like it i might also make some stepping stones we will see i don't think so but we will see I'm gonna run out of design slots, aren't I? How many? I feel like this isn't a lot of design slots. Is there a limit? Uh, 
Okay. You can get... Oh, well, I guess that's the max I get. Okay. I just quickly looked it up. Okay, let's go in. Knock all of these off. Get rid of all of the beautiful work I did. Even though it's in the other one, I, I don't like this part. But it's easier than trying to change all of my uh, my colors to match. Because that sucks and I hate it. So I'm not doing it. Okay. So. That's that. Sorted. And I just want this one to be like... Not even that many. Just a couple. Okay, let's let's try it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'm liking this. Yeah, I think I'm liking this. I can definitely see that I'm going to be lamenting my custom design slots, though. And not ever having enough. Because there are not that many. And I have so many ideas. So, you know, that'll be fun, I guess. I thought there were more. So I remember on my old islands, I used to be like, wow, there are so many. How will I ever fill them? And now it's like, not how will I ever fill them, but how will I have enough space? Slots to do all the things I want to do. No, that's not right. Yeah, this is good. I'm gonna move this all. It's not quite in the right place on the canvas, though. Yeah. Let's do some small, oops, hang on, some small corner puddles, I think, would be nice to do here. I'm very proud of this idea, though. I think it's super cute. I really like the idea of going in and doing like villager specific kind of designs for them. Maybe not for all my villagers, but for my favorite villagers for sure. Yeah. Alright, I'm I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I struggle, I think, making these, thinking about these in relation to the other ones that I'm going to do. Because I start working on them like they're each individual instead of as a piling multiple, like a whole. Which definitely is not beneficial to making them more cohesive. But it's probably something I'll get better at with practice. Alright, I like this actually. I think this is cute. Whoa. Control of drift makes this a little difficult. That wasn't right at all. Can't blame that one on controller drifting. Ooh. 
yeah, yeah. I like this. Very happy with this. I think after this I'm gonna stop and get some lunch though, because I am starting to get real hungry. Yeah. I'm liking this. Making custom designs is so fun. I really enjoy this. Of course, if anyone ever has any tips for making these custom designs or any suggestions for how I can alter a motif, I'd love to hear them, you know? I'm always super curious. And this, of course, applies to YouTube VOD comments, too. I'll read anything that I get over there. Um, I do have a YouTube channel for putting up these VODs. So if y'all ever miss a stream and you're curious to know what I did, you can always hop on there and catch them there. looking good. I really like doing this pixel art. I, I like how Animal Crossing smooths out the pixel designs too. I wish there was an option to prevent it from doing that if someone wanted to have like a pixel art themed island because I think that would be super sick. But also I understand why there isn't one, because I imagine it would be a little frustrating to toggle. I could probably just throw these down near the water anywhere on my island and they would look pretty good. Because they're just puddles. These would probably look especially good during cherry blossom season because of the pink. I cannot wait for cherry blossom season on my island. I think it's coming up soon, isn't it? I'm not sure. I hope it is. I can't wait. I've never actually experienced a cherry blossom season on my island. On any of my islands. So I'm very excited to see what it's like. Pretty sure it'll be beautiful. Because I've seen pictures and stuff. And seen YouTubers play during it. But I've never actually managed to get one on my own island. No cherry blossom season. I just haven't been able to play during the spring. This is looking good, I think. Very cute. And I like the little uh, corner one that's really small so you can see what it looks like at a, a larger scale. Or maybe a smaller scale? I don't know if it would be larger scale or smaller scale in this instance. Um, just because I think that's really handy for kind of contextualizing how everything is looking. It definitely helps me at least. Look at that. Now let me go in and put the shadows in this bit of water here. All right, there we go. I'll throw down some highlights. Or catch lights rather probably would be more appropriate here. Look at that. This is looking good. I 
I really think the highlights help make it pop and look really wet instead of just like slimy or like glassy. Look at that. Let's throw down some flowers and I think we'll be done. Alrighty. I love these little flowers that I've come up with. They work as like both gems and flowers. I was using them for gems on my little path and I think they read as gems there. But if I add the little dot of yellow to the middle, they look like flowers, and I think that's cool. How versatile they are. Alright. Let's go in and put the stamens in. There we go. And then we'll do the shading on the flowers. I might want to move this whole thing over to the left a little, but I don't think I'm going to. I think it's fine. Yeah, look at that. Put that there, and there, and then that one there. This one, we'll do it all under. That one goes here, this one goes here and here. Oop, that wasn't right. Hang on, let me fix that. Okie dokie. There we go. Look at that. Puddle Puddle 4. I think that's pretty cute. Alright, let's display it on the ground here. And maybe here? Here. Display on ground. And then display. Let's display this one on the ground here. Yeah, it looks so wet. <laughs> Let's put some by the riverside too. Display it on the ground. This is so cute. I like this. Idea, idea. Hang on. I should put down some little stars on the ground too. I can just use the fairy star stone stepping stones actually. That would look probably pretty good out here. Play on the ground. Display them on the ground here, where I am. Display them on the ground. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to pick this one. And then I want this big one. Display it on the ground. And let's do this little one. Display it on the ground. this one, display it on the ground. And now we can use the little fairy star stones kind of as like big four for around the puddles. I think this looks really good. I'm really happy with this.
Yeah, this is looking good. I like this. so cute. It's like a magical little fairy puddle. These are so cute. I'm very happy with this. Yeah, this is lovely. I really like this. Okay, let's move this towards everything. So I can't pull it any further. Wait, and whoop, I didn't want to sit down. Look at that. This is so cute. I'm really happy with this. for stopping in. It was lovely to have you all with me here today. Um, and I suppose I will see you guys when I see ya.